Hey guys, welcome back for another track guide. Uh, this week from Nurburgring. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so as I said, uh, track guide this week from Nurburgring. Uh, quite excited about this one. Um, I don't know, this is type, my type of track. It's I'm not really sure why, but yeah, I just like it. Um, so this week running a 52.8% brake bias. Um, this is my first lap out after the outlap. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was the first lap out after the outlap. Um, so 80 litres of fuel this week, so I would have been down just a, a little smidge, but um, yeah, ended up doing a, let's have a look, 155.3. So I was quite happy with that one. It feels like you can get a lot more off it. You can get a bit more off it. Um, I saw Stewie ran pretty much a 50, what did I just say? Uh, Stewie ran a really low uh, 151 last night, Michael Stewart. Uh, so I think he was a 151.032 or something like that. So it is definitely attainable. Um, so probably some of those uh, the guys further up will be doing a... Um, a 54 so yeah definitely something to to push for but um i just want to have a quick shout out to uh wade from jwm he does all our paints um i've never really thanked him in the past but um he's done this paint uh for season 18 so for yeah the season is just gone if you have a look at this i'll probably stuff this up completely because i uh look at this shit the detail in this thing is amazing Look at those tiny little, uh, whatever you call those, hexagon, is it? I have no, those little patterns throughout the back of the, throughout the back of the car there. And if you go like around, look at that sucker. That's, I reckon that's awesome. It's probably my most favorite paint uh, that he's, he's bought out. So yeah, just got to say thanks to uh, Wade for doing that one. I think once you, once you see it in the, in the light as well, when it goes into the sun, um, it's more chrome on that orange and then the red stands out. It's like, really candy, candy apple red. So yeah, I quite like it. I just want to say a quick thank you to Wade. Um, so I've probably stuffed up this uh, view completely now, but uh, I'll zoom it back out. I'm going to do it out like this so that you guys can get a bit of a better um, look at the setup to the corner. And uh, it's just a bit of a wider view, so it might give you a bit more of a bit more of an idea there of what's going on. I might just uh, drop it down just a smidgey. Just so it's not up so high. Yeah, you'd be like that. There we go. All right. So we'll get into it. Uh, so coming down the main straight, all the way up to six gear. Um, 
this first corner can be a bit of a pain in the ass, but once you sort it out, not too bad. So once again, watching um, Madison Downs uh, hot lap as I have the VRS um, app. So I get to have a look at his uh, hot lap every week. Um, so your brake marker is that 150 board, or just before actually. Um, you can, I was going at the 150 board, but it's really quite hard to pull it up. Madison goes just past it, the psycho, but um, <laughs> different setup and everything. So different uh, master cylinders and all that sort of thing. But anyway, um, yeah, so just about a car and a half, two cars just before the 150. I found is optimal for me at the moment. I could probably push it a little bit further and you could definitely push it if you're trying to bomb someone under brakes. But uh, that's where I'm breaking at the moment. Um, so all the way from six down to first I go. But I try not to stick to this white line as it curves in like this and it can to tend to throw off your braking a little bit, get you understable. So sort of head out just a little bit from that white line on the left there and then aim more for that 50 board. Um, and I stay white, uh, quite wide out. So I'll break in a straight line uh, all the way down to first gear. First gear is really late if you're going to select first gear. It's a late shift, so just keep that in mind. You don't want a compression lockup. Uh, and then trailing off to the apex. So if that's the apex there, guys, you, you're coming down the straight. Um, try not to come in too early like this or flat. Flat's not probably not too bad, but I try to get my braking done and come around this way into the apex. Um, on this one, I've come pretty flat, so keep that in mind. If you come right around, you'll get a better run out of the corner. So all the way back down to first, stop talking. <laughs> Hit your apex nice and tight. Short shifting, sorry, I probably should have mentioned that. Short shifting second as you hit the apex and then just accelerating out as hard as you can. Watch coming out of here, uh, especially on the first couple of laps, uh, your tires will be a bit cold, so it will want to lose the arse end. But once they warm up, you can get quite a good drive out of that one. So coming out of here uh, up to the second corner, I come sort of more sort of three quarters of the way across the track, try to get to more mid-track um, just to set up the, the entry and get a better exit. Um, but I think the quick guys are going sort of more up here. Madison was going up here and stuff like that. But yeah, I sort of tend to come out here and then sort of get a more of a mid to later apex. Um, coming into this corner, so you're shifting up to third. Coming into the corner, uh, I go back down to second. Was I in third? No, coming into the gear, uh, coming into the corner in second. Sorry, guys. Um, I might just put that there so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so I'm coming up here into the gear, just holding second. Uh, coming into the corner, getting a more of a mid, uh, mid apex and short shifting third uh, just to get a good run out. So we'll do it in real time. Holding second, short shift third there. And then just getting on the gas as hard as you can. But just really watch that arse end because it will want to come around. But it's not too bad as that it'll just want to spin. I have spun there on practice, but it'll come out. It'll start tweaking, but you can feel it and you can start playing with your accelerator and just to get that maximum run out all the way over to the right-hand side of the track there, guys. Now, coming down to this one, this can be a bit of a pain in the ass for most people. I will go through it in real time here. So that's my line there. I sort of come through, hold it out a little bit wide first. I was coming in and aiming more for the the like closer to the to the corner as I was doing my braking through here. But I found if you're coming out here, you get a really good run out. There's not really a brake marker. You could probably use that as a brake marker. I think that's pretty much where I do brake. Let's have a look. Oh no, a four, holy shit. Yeah, no, that's way too late. <laughs> yes, there's not really a brake marker there, guys. Um, you could probably count these little markers on the, on the right here, but I'm just sort of going by feel. Probably, I subconsciously probably am looking at that. So probably two car lengths. Right there, oh, three car lengths, probably about three car lengths. So just keep, anyway, in a in a straight line once again. Whenever you can get that that chance to set your braking up in a straight line, it's probably for me, because I'm not up at that level where I am, um, like with all these aliens that go stupid fast, I just find it a lot more stable. But coming into the corner in a straight line, it's probably just a, a well-known fact, but yeah, always brake in a straight line. Try to, try to get your braking done. And then as you're trailing off the brakes, as they call it, trail braking, trailing off the brakes, that's when you start turning into your corner and um, setting up your apex. But anyway, uh, coming down here, so you're in third gear, uh, trying to brake more for aiming for this part of the, the um, curve here. So in a straight line, straight for that. And then hitting about here, trailing off into your corner, uh, shifting back to second. And then holding this one really tight. A lot of people will probably get to there and start trying to accelerate and then just straight shooting it for that next right-hander. But um, I found if you're just staying on the brakes, even letting off the brakes, but just keep it really tight all the way around here to probably the end of the curb here. We'll have a look at it in real time just before. 
So uh, yeah, keep it nice and tight all the way around here just before the end of the curb there. Accelerating out, but still keeping that car length out from the next right hander just to set up the entrance and get a good run out. Um, so holding second out of this one, um, powering out and then as you come around you let off the accelerator i was trying to hold it a little bit just to get that momentum through the corner but if you're letting off the accelerator it tends to shoot the car around it wants to bring it more into the corner which can set you up for a good good run out of it so i'll just go through it in real time here really hard on the accelerator there off back onto it straight away uh using all the track out here on the left just watch when you do go out here on the left um what have i done there we'll go through real slow yeah so i've kept the the right hand tires i have got a few penalties but i haven't figured out where it is that i'm getting the penalties yet so i'd imagine just like every other track as long as you don't drop your inside tires outside uh the red and white curbing there you won't get a penalty so you can drop the car outside just try not to drop the tires outside of there and same up here try not to skip the grass too much uh, otherwise you will get a penalty so coming out of here in second guys up to third up to fourth i think go up to fifth as well yeah go all the way up to fifth uh, so probably with everyone, uh, use the witches hats. That's what I use for my brake marker. Um, I've noticed with this track as well, you don't want to get on the brakes straight on the on the downshift. You don't want to go brake downshift downshift downshift. Pretty much every corner is noticeably braking first and then shifting down the gears, especially with this corner. So I'm all the way up into fifth here. Try to break in that straight line again out here. Uh, back to fourth, and then when I've got all my braking done, I'm about to trail in. I go back to third. It tends to bring the arse end around a little bit, and I don't know. It just it's got me a lot of time. So I noticed last night. So just something to keep in mind. So fifth, back to fourth, back to third as you're about to turn in, accelerating out. Um, so with this one, I've tried a few different ways. I've come in really tight, tried to keep it really tight and get a good run out. Doesn't work. I've got, tried to sort of keep mid track here, come right out here and set it up. That sort of works, but it's a little bit unstable under braking because I tend to brake a little bit late. So I'll come across here and as I'm coming across to the left, I'm starting to brake, which tends to want to make the car go like this. And then as you're turning, it'll and then want to flip back around to get into the corner. So what I've done lately, yeah, for the for this one, this was pretty much my last um, lap of the practice session, uh, coming around, keeping it mid track and braking in that straight line again, um, back down to second. Uh, uh, braking mark is pretty much at the beginning of that uh, curb there. Um, can be a little bit earlier uh, if you're a little bit concerned about stability coming into the corner, but that's my braking market there. I think I've, yeah, I've been keeping an eye on that one. So at the curb on the right there, um, on the brakes, um, I just said <laughs> considerably hold the brakes, but this is one where you could probably get on that. This is the one corner where you could probably get on the brakes and quite quickly shift down to the second gear just to pull you up because it is a downhill corner. So you're heading in downhill. So you want to get pulled up quite early just to set up that um, entrance to the corner, keeping it nice and tight on the curb here to about mid corner and then accelerating out using all the left-hand side of the track. A bit tighter than what I have there. And then accelerating out, you can use all that green on the left there, guys. It's coming down this uh, little left-hand kink here, coming down so everyone will probably know this whatever you want to call it on the right here this meshy stuff i use the end of it maybe just before the end of it as my braking marker um uh, so i tried to keep it out left here i just find because it is downhill and it cambers off it tends to want to bring the car in and then really shoot the ass end around so i tend to get um, a lot of oversteer coming into the corner maybe because i'm braking a little bit late i'm not sure but um and I watched uh, Madison Downs uh, track guide and he'll fucking straight line it straight for this part. He doesn't even leave much room, but he double apexes it. So he comes in, he breaks about here, bang, 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 down the gears really quickly back down to second, but he'll come through uh, the, like through the corner. He'll come like over here, pretty much aim out here, keep it as tight as he can, but really tight to this one out wider in the mid middle part of the corner and then comes back in really close to the curb on the exit which is double apexing um i found i sort of keep it about here mid track uh so far is working for me all the way back down to second and then coming in sort of trying to get to the curb about midway on the corner and keeping it tight all the way around the rest of the corner and then accelerating out as hard as i can so i'll run you through that one in real time 
all the way back down to second, trailing off into the corner. Oh, I have double apexed it on that one. I uh, don't normally do that, so but it is a, it is a viable option. Uh, so coming up to this next left hander, this is another really pain in the ass one. Um, it feels like you can go through it a lot quicker than what you do. But when you start slowing down, you actually notice that your times start going up. So it's one of those ones where don't overdrive this corner. This one's one where you want to actually get off the accelerator, really set up your apex, set up your, your, your line into the corner, and then you get a good run out of it. Um, I was short shifting halfway through here in fifth, um, but I noticed it didn't have the drive out of the corner. So I was getting a little bit more speed out of it in fourth currently. So um, with this one, I come all the way out here, drop my right hand tires out here. Um, and then get considerably, I'm holding fourth, considerably off the accelerator, uh, not so much on the brakes. I'll probably, you'll probably see my foot lean on the brake, but it's just that thing where you're like, I keep my foot there just in case. But um, yeah, off the accelerator completely, set up your apex. I drop the tires up on the curb uh, and then straight shoot it for the right. So it comes up left and then right, straight shoot it for that right hand curb, uh, drop your tires up there again, and then just get a good run out once you're at full revs, shifting to fifth. Hopefully it'll show it here. So get your kit guys up there. Just watch that one because it is quite a big, uh, quite a big curb. So it will want to unstable the car and shoot it around this way. So just get up there, and then once like you you get like a you're off the accelerator quite late. Get your tires up there. Don't just bang your foot straight back on the accelerator to get the most. Sort of gradually ease it on, and it won't want to really kick the ass end out. Uh, yeah, aiming for that uh, exit. So as you can see, coming out of here, um, I've hit the curb again. So you're really taking big chunk out of that right-hand curb and then just accelerating out as hard as you can, then shifting fifth. Coming up the hill, fifth there. Uh, so up to this one, this is quite a good corner. I quite like this corner. Um, I have no idea why. It's just when you hit it properly, it feels really good. You get a good run out of it. And I don't, I'm not really sure if a lot of people have figured it out. But yeah, I start breaking here sort of either here or here. So this is my brake marker here or the length here. Um, you probably can brake really late if you, for some reason, get a run on someone up the inside. You can brake quite late, but it doesn't get you the quickest speed, I've noticed. So braking about here, uh, once again in a straight line, back to fourth, back to third, and then I'm taking a big chunk out of the curve. I'll run you through it here in real time. Back to fourth, back to third. Take a chunk out and then accelerate. As soon as you're hitting that apex, uh, get back on the gas quite hard, as hard as you can without, you know, the RSN really losing it and um, unstabling the car or anything. But as I said, you can get quite a quite hard on the brakes there, big chunk out of the curb, and then just gassing it right out. That one, as you can see, it's sort of off camber like that, and it's sort of coming up around like this, so it wants to get a little bit loose on the RSN as you come up and around. Um, just keep that in mind there, guys, but you can accelerate quite hard out of that one. And then coming all the way back over here to the left as far as you possibly can. Uh, I usually get to, back to about here, not really right over to the left, but I get over to here. And then you're pretty much off the accelerator. You really, you like get off the accelerator, feel the car coming back around. And then if it's not quite coming right back over to the curb where you need it, just apply the brakes just ever so slightly just to get it back around. Once you're close, or you know you hit your apex then accelerating out as hard as you can just keep it in mind that this isn't like a it's not like that coming around the corner it's not like this it's more around and it's like a uh what do you call it like a tighter tighter corner it's not an open corner it's not a 90 degree it sort of comes right around so just keep that in mind you have to sort of get right around the corner before you start accelerating i'll run it through in real time here guys so holding third Coming around, nice and tight, keeping on the curb there, and they're just gassing it out. Watch going wide there. You can go quite wide, drop tire up on the on the green bit there, but you don't want to go too wide as you will get a penalty. So coming up to this one, um, tried this one a few different ways as well. As you can see, I use the 100. I try to usually, I've broken a little bit early there, but I do hit the 100 usually, then get on the brakes. Um, once again, on the brakes considerably, then fifth, fourth, third um setting up your entrance so with this one the curb on the entrance you don't want to cut that heaps but the one on the exit you can cut quite considerably so uh just keep that one in mind um so as i said all the way back down to third I run through it like this so you don't cut that one then you can cut that one quite a bit um coming into it nothing really major to probably say that you have to keep an eye on but 
Um, it is quite daunting because you're flat stick and six gear and you're thinking, shit, I'm coming into this quite quick and it's a left, right, and it's going to kick me out. But stay calm. <laughs> get your braking gun, get your shifting done, then, yeah, sight your apex. Try to just... I'm, I'm actually looking for my tires, my right-hand tires, to be... Show you. See, just there, you see, I, I sort of come in and I know where my tires are through looking through the cockpit view. And I'm just aiming for this tire to be on the white line, basically, so that you're not getting that penalty. And then I'm once I see that, I'm looking up, and then I want to keep my right tires just on the mid part of the green, and then shooting out this part, the tip part of the uh, the curbing there, just to get a good run out. Watch when you come out of the corner, because um, I shift fourth, so I'm in in here in third. Coming through here, about here, I shift fourth and then boot it out. I was holding third, but I found it was a little bit unstable and it wasn't getting me the good run out. So I hold fourth uh, and then I get on the gas quite hard, but just watch coming out, it does want to lose it a little bit. So you use all of the track there just to get a nice straight run out, uh, as you'll see here. The shifting fourth, keeping it nice and tight on the right there and they're just using most of the track. With this one, I have not found a braking marker yet. Nothing that I can really use. You can probably use that curb there on the right way over if you can see that in the cockpit view i don't have triple screen so still waiting for my vr <laughs> but um yeah you probably use that one if you've got the triple screens keep an eye on that one as your brake marker um once again you're in fourth uh back to third back to second quite a straightforward corner um you can come in early and late because it is a really long it's a tight corner but it's quite long uh leading on to the the main straight so you can come in quite early, but I think the faster line is just to keep it out a little bit mid-track, keep it wider, and then try to come in as late as you can just to get that good run onto the straight. You're not going to get uh, overtaken into the first corner, as you see here. As you see, I held it out quite wide at about the, the fence there. I'm hitting the apex and then coming out as hard as I can in second gear, all the way up through the gears over the start-finish line. Um, so that's another track guide, guys. If you think of anything I've been thinking during the week, if there's anything you want to see, if you want the zoom, you want it zoomed out further, if you want it in closer, if you want to know more information, just let me know uh, on Discord or in the comments. But that's another track guide, guys. Uh, I should be on Tuesday night for East Coast, uh, streaming live, and then Thursday for V8 Vets. Um, but think, gonna leave it, think of leaving a thumbs up and subscribing. Chuck that bell on there so when I do go live, sometime it's random, you can uh, see jump in and have a chat. But uh, that's another one, guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the race. Cheers.